prefer your asparagus white, green, purple, sauteed, roasted, or steamed, Shirley's gonna show us just how easy it is to grow this delicious vegetable at home. Ooh. I'm so personally excited about I know you this. are, and I actually love all of the above. All of those types of But they're of expensive. Dessert. They can be expensive, so they're worth growing. So what I wanna say is, you know, the asparagus is a peculiar plant in the sense that it's a perennial, right. so it's one of the few crops that you plant once, and then you enjoy that harvest for 20 years or right. more. Well, I planted them about five, six years ago at, up in the country right. before we ran out of water, so I had to abandon my asparagus oh, no. bed. So I'm very much looking we'll get, for a reminder on how to bring it back. That's right. So now, how do you start off? Because I know you can do both seed and crown, That's right? That's true. What's the best way? Okay, so here's the thing. Have to keep in mind that depending on if you plant with the seed, you may not be able to harvest your asparagus for four to five years. This is a long-term right. plant. Now, if you start with a crown, they do come in bundles. You see here in front of my uh, raised planter, they kind of look kind of strange, you know? They're just a bunch of bundle things. I'm gonna show you, these are going to save you time because these are about two or three years old. So you cut your time in yeah, half from when you can start harvest. Yeah, you cut it in half so that maybe you can harvest it a little sooner. So I want to show you All right. how you I mean, you can, I ordered mine online and they just arrived in the mail, which I thought was like it's brilliant. It's great. They'll come in bundles of eight, six, great. nine, or whatever. But let's put them apart All right, just so like this. All right, so how do they work? Okay. Just like this. You want to take them apart very, very gingerly. This one is one. As you can tell, if it's resisting, do not okay. cut into it. So what we're going to do is you do that, and then you soak it in water for about 10 minutes before you plant. And then how do you actually plant it? Okay, it's a little let's, tricky, Let's right? get into the action. All right, here's the thing. Remember I said long-term plant? Right. Okay, so the trick with asparagus is all of the work is done at planting time. That's when you improve your soil. I like using a raised planter because right. I can fill it with whatever good soil it needs. Oh, and then you don't have to stress out because this bed is going to produce for like 20 years, 20 right? Years. So where it goes, it goes. It's very important. So I have a trench here. It's about 12 inches deep, 12 inches wide. And what it is, it's filled with a lot of compost, rich compost. It's okay. going to feed your plant later. And then we created some little hills. And I already have one. Now, Ken, if you wouldn't mind giving me mine. So and they've been soaking for, for, for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And grab and, one for yourself. And then what do we do? Okay, so friends, we're gonna take this and we're gonna open up the root system just very softly okay. and we're gonna lay it over the hill, just like that. And th that's really it. And then now I have this, I'm gonna start covering the crowns. And as you can see in the front, I have a very rich compost. This is potting soil and it has fertilizer. Very important to use fertilizer from so the very actually, beginning. So you actually, you just can't, you shouldn't yes. just put in your regular, regular soil. No. You really need to a lot need amend to, it a Yes, lot. so okay. this is a rich blend and it's rich in phosphorus and potassium. Look for that type okay. of, of fertilizer. So and then look, you fill in the whole trench? No, this is it. Look, check this out. Ken, go ahead and grab go. that and fill yours. There. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So we, I filled in my whole trench. No, that was a problem, no, huh? No, you don't want to do that because you want to give room and space for your roots to just develop very easily without resistance. So look at this, guys. You're going to say, oh my gosh, I, I planted it, but it's not filled. In about two weeks, as you start to see more growth, you come back and you keep filling you every keep few weeks. keep covering it up. By the end of the season, uh, it's filled and it's level. And okay, so we talked about like how it is, it's a permanent thing. It's 20 yes. years in the same place. So what's the best environment? Like where should you pick to put your bed okay. if you don't have a rolling yeah. magic carpet? This cart? is not a plant that you're gonna dig up right. because you don't like where it is. Full sun, friends, six to eight hours a day, direct sunlight. Full sun. Also, put it somewhere where it's not gonna shade other crops because this is gonna grow about six feet tall. And well, let me ask you this, and before you can harvest it, do you let it go that, or do you break it off, or do well, you let it go crazy? No, what you do is when these start to grow, and you're gonna see that they're gonna grow just like this in the springtime. They're gonna just start coming right out of the ground. You start to harvest them from the bottom, you just cut them off. You allow a few of them, the thinner ones, to continue growing without what does harvest. That do, then? Well, then it's going to start to grow and look like a beautiful fern plant. Right. It can grow about six feet. I think we have a picture of how it looks when you allow it to grow. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful hedge? But now I, I get confused because there is something called an asparagus fern, which is it's a, a completely it's, separate it's, plant. It's, it's a separate plant. It's a cousin plant. But Got it. let me tell you the benefit of allowing a few of these to continue growing. Yeah. 
now this is going to start harvesting the sunlight. That is going to be directed to the roots so that next spring you're going to have some amazing there asparagus. You go. So and you then need in, that. in two years you can start actually harvesting to eat it. Correct, correct. I love that. How about the white ones? Absolutely amazing. So, so how like do the white, like I thought they were like a different breed. Yes. Is that correct? Oh, uh, no. Well, it's the same thing. Friends, do you, if you love white asparagus, you can grow it the same way as I directed you, but this is the difference. As it starts to grow out, you're going to cover them to exclude the sunlight. You don't want them to be subject to sunlight. And then you cover them like this. Keep and them in that the dark. Is how, yeah, you Absolutely keep them in the dark. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely That's brilliant. For these and more garden tips, visit hallmarkchannel.com. I know I do. Absolutely amazing, Cheryl. Isn't that fun?